He said, oh, Jay, are you, are you trying to honey soak me now? Are you trying to give me some honey soak? Are you trying to give me some opium so you just deaden me? Is that what you're trying to do? Or are you offering all this blessing, are you? I'm not offering you earthly blessing. I'm not offering you earthly blessing. I'm offering you spiritual blessing. I'm offering you an experience of God that is beyond this world. I'm, ask, I'm offering you a peace that you cannot find in this world. I'm, ask, I'm offering you a God who is alive and who has pursued you and will continue to pursue you until you find your hope in him. God's love for you is great. He says, taste and see that the Lord is good. In that labyrinth, we can choose to stay in the labyrinth with all our screwed upness and get ourselves into more screwed upness. Or we can hear the voice of the mother. We can hear the voice of the mother calling. And we can hear that voice and know that voice is near. And then we can say, Mom, Mom, I'm here. And the mom can come and grab us and hold us. And the same with God. We can go in the in the labyrinth of life and we can take our screwed upness and live in our screwed upness. But in the distance, God says, I loved you, I died for you. For God so loved the world that I gave my only begotten Son, that whoever believes on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And that is the voice of God calling to you in the labyrinth. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And the God is calling, God is saying, God is showing you, he is speaking his love to you. As you hear those words, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And the love of God, the voice of God is being said. And in your labyrinth, you can either just keep in your labyrinth with all your screwed upness, or you can hear that voice and say, He's, I hear the call of God. I hear God. I hear His love for me. I see His love for me on the cross. And you can go to Him and say, Lord, I know you died for me. I confess my sin. I am screwed up. Lord, I can't do this anymore. Forgive me. And as you say that, and as you come to him, he will forgive you, he'll wash you, he'll cleanse you, and he'll make you anew. Sometimes we have to go down the labyrinth of life. Sometimes we have to take our screwed upness to its very, very limits. And then at that point, it's either we break or we bow the knee to Christ. Some of you will go to the very, very edge of your screwed upness. You will go to the very edge of it. Some of you won't come back. Some of you will take it to the point where you will not cry out and see the love of God for you. And that is a tragedy. And I hope that you do not do that, but some of you will. Some of you will prefer to live in the labyrinth, to hold on to your screwed upness,